Hey, what's up guys? Welcome into the channel. Now, if you are a productivity and organizational freak like I am, then you really like to geek out on some of these apps that are available that promote productivity and organization. And two of those apps are Notion and Airtable. And I've been using both of these now for a couple of weeks. And so I wanted to kind of give you a quick comparison of the two, Notion versus Airtable. We'll talk about the differences. We'll talk about what they're used for. And ultimately, we'll get down to the bottom is which one should you use for your productivity and organization. So make sure you stay tuned to this video to find out. If you're new to the channel, then welcome on in. I'm your boy, Paul. And on this channel, we talk about all the tools, books, and resources that are available to help you skill up and improve your life and business in this digital economy. And there's nothing that screams digital economy more than these organization and productivity apps that are now available to help make our lives and businesses a lot easier. And so when I was researching some options for what I wanted to use as I was building out additional projects, I searched far and wide and looked a lot of videos, tried a lot of things, and I really narrowed it down to really two front runners. It was Notion and Airtable. So I got into the nitty gritty, I downloaded both of those, took a look at what they were, and so today I'm gonna to bring you my comparison, my initial thoughts on the two. We'll talk about what they are, compare some of the key features, and ultimately at the end we'll wrap it up by telling you how I utilize the apps and what I would recommend for you to use and how to use them. So thank you for, for tuning in. Let's First of all, let's talk about Notion and Airtable. What are they? Okay, let's first start with Airtable. So let's go jump on a computer here. Airtable, you can get to just Airtable.com. Um, Airtable on the homepage, it says connect everything, achieve anything. Best description I have is that Airtable is a platform that makes it easy to build powerful custom applications. And these tools can help streamline just about any process, whether it workflow or project. And you can build them without ever having to write a single line of code. Now, if you want to look at Notion, Notion is a little bit more cryptic. Um, if you look at its homepage, it doesn't really give you a definitive description of what it is, uh, which is indicative of Notion because there's a lot more to it. But the best definition I found off of Wikipedia says that Notion is a software designed to help members of a company or organization coordinate deadlines, objectives, and assignments for the sake of efficiency and productivity. And so these are our two competitors, guys. Let's take a look in uh, some of the things that are similar and some of the things that are different. First, we're gonna take a look at Assessability. Who has access to these programs? Well, both apps I find are very accessible through all of the platforms. They both have a website, they both have a desktop app, and they both have a mobile app for both Android and iPhone. So regardless of which platform you wanna use, both of these apps are very accessible. And surprisingly, both of these apps work really well on all the platforms. Now I do recommend that if you're using it on a desktop that you use a desktop app versus the uh, website version, just because it, it gives you a little bit more functionality, it's a little bit easier, but ultimately, it interacts and is going to do all of the functions that you need it to do. So if you're using Notion on your mobile phone, you'll notice that your screen real estate obviously is condensed down from landscape mode into portrait mode. So it makes it a little bit more difficult for you to find your stuff. You just have, have to get familiar with how to scroll down to find everything that you may have seen over to the far left. I do find though when it comes to the mobile accessibility, Airtable makes it a little bit easier to navigate. So the next thing we wanna look at is the templates that are available for both Airtable and Notion. And they both have a wide selection of templates that are available. Let's first go over to my Airtable and let's take a look at what they have. So you go right up here to the templates page and it's going to open up a array of different options for your templates. And you can scroll, scroll through all these templates, you can get an idea of what they're used for. They have a digital uh, video production, you know, art gallery management. There's tons of these different types of templates. They even break it down by category if you're looking for something in specific. So you're looking for like a personal template, you can click here and it's going to give you access to a bunch of different templates that you can use for your personal life. It's a CRM, graduation requirements, checklists and things like that that you can use. 
If you go over to Notion, we're gonna take a look at here at my uh, Notion dashboard, you will also find templates over here. You click on there, it is going to open up a bunch of templates. And again, um, they have it over here on the right side. You can categorize the different types of templates that they have you know, by student, engineering, you can see that there's all these types of different templates that are available to use. Now, what I do find is that Notion does have a wider range of creators in the community. So if you go onto YouTube, you're gonna find a lot of creators that have access to Notion that are using this for their productivity and they have a lot of great templates. One that I would strongly recommend is Thomas Franks. Uh, Thomas Frank Explains, I think is his YouTube channel. He has Notion templates for the world. Watch him a lot. I learn a lot from him, guys. Link will be down in the description. So you can find a lot of templates. You can watch a lot of YouTube videos on people, how they use Notion, ways that they helped it improve their, their productivity. With Airtable, I don't see the same amount. There are some people that are on YouTube to talk about Airtable, but because Airtable isn't as flexible with how you build it out. I don't think there's as many people contributing content online, but there are a lot of different templates that you can find. So the next thing we're gonna compare with both Notion and Airtable is the ease of use. Now, both of these interfaces are very clean uh, and simple. However, I find with Airtable, it is a little bit easier to learn how to use it. So if you go into Airtable, you'll see that if you wanna add a project, and you want to add a base to it, it's going to be pretty simple in the fact that it's familiar if you know anything about Excel. If you used Excel at all, you'll see that the table is very similar to that and it's pretty cut and dry on how you can add it. You just got to get familiar with what fields to populate in here. Even if you go to the home page, it doesn't give you much as far as customization. It's pretty clean cut. You can add your different workspaces and you can add your projects in here, which are all your databases. So pretty clean, pretty simple, doesn't leave a whole lot to the imagination. It is pretty simple. When it comes to Notion, it is a clean interface, but what I really like about Notion, where Notion exceeds, is that it does give you the ability to customize this. It, you can dress this up as much as you want to dress it up. You can change it. You can change your cover. You can have cover or no cover. You can have these icons. You can replace icons. You can build this dashboard any way that you want it. And that's similar with any page that you build in Notion. If you wanted to start a new page, you would click here and you can see right away, this is what you're left with. So you could start building this out. You can leave it empty. You can use it empty with an icon. And then you could build your database as a table or board. So Notion is a little bit more complex. And to be honest with you, it does take a little bit longer to learn. There is a larger learning curve when it comes to Notion versus Airtable. So for something ease and convenience, Airtable is going to be a lot easier to start using and adapt right away. The next thing we want to compare are the views that's available. Now, if you go into any of these projects, and I'm going to go and look at my YouTube video projects because I have this kind of mirrored in both Notion and Airtable so you can get a, a, a good look at it. You can see here, this is all of my YouTube video projects, and it, I can sort this by different types of views. So this is the board view. It can give you a table view of it, and it will look like that. You can also do this by gallery, which will show you this type of view. You can also do the list view, which will list them all like this. So it does give you a lot, a lot of options on how you can list those. If I go into Airtable and I do the same thing with my video projects, again here, it does give you different options. You can um, do this different ways. So you can have the cam bands, which is similar to the board view in Notion. You can look at it as a calendar. You can look at it as a gallery. And you can also add some additional views. Um, you can use the grid view. Just like that. And then the timeline view and the Gantt, they are additional features that you would have to pay for. So ultimately, their views are pretty similar 
So let's talk about integrations because integrations are very important for anyone that's trying to automate their workflow to become more productive and more organized. And I do find that both of these tools do have some built-in integrations and it makes it easy for you to integrate. However, I do find that Notion is a little bit more limited in the amount of integrations that it has. So if you go here to any page, you would be able to go in here and if you swipe a command, what Notion will call it is embeds, right? So it gives you the ability then to embed certain things into your website. So, so it gives you the ability to embed things into your Notion page. So you can embed PDFs, Google Maps, it's embedded with Google Drive, you have Twitter, GitHub, Google Maps, Figma, Abstract, Envision, Framer, Whimsical, Miro, which is one that I use a lot, Sketch, Excel, Draw, Loom, Typeform, Replit. So there are a good bit of functions that you can use directly on Notion. I do understand that they just came out with API, which gives you the ability to integrate more. But if the native integrations aren't enough for you, you can always use Zapier or Automate.io to help build out those integrations for you. Now on Airtable, on the other hand, they have a little bit more native integrations and a lot more options. Now the problem with Airtable is that you only get one app with each base on the free plan. So if you go here, you can go into apps and apps will give you a whole detail list of apps that you can add. So you can see here, they also work with Miro. So they have the native apps through Airtable and then all these apps here as well. So if you view all the apps, it's going to break down all of these that have integrations already built in. And again, if none of this works, I'm sure there's a way for you to use Zapier and Automate.io as well to get you some more integrations. So let's talk about pricing because that is going to be a key determining factor in whether or not you can utilize both of these apps. So they both have a free plan and then they both have paid plans. So let's take a look at the difference. First, let's take a look at Notion. Now Notion, if you go into the pricing on Notion, you'll see that there is a free plan which is the personal plan. It gives you unlimited pages and blocks. You can share with five guests. You can sync across all your devices. And when you start comparing it, you'll see that you're getting five megabytes in uploads, which isn't a whole lot. So if you're going to be uploading a lot of things into Notion, then the personal plan may not be quite good enough for you. You may have to go with the personal pro where you will get the unlimited amount of file storage for your uploads. Now, even so, if you do that, it is $4 a month. And I can't imagine most people needing more than the options that are available on the personal pro plan. I personally have been using a free plan. It's been working fine for me. At some point in time, as I expand it out, I imagine I may have to upgrade just because of that storage um, capacity. But other than that, you get unlimited pages, you get unlimited blocks. Um, if you are going to develop a team, then you're gonna go into more expensive plans $8 a month for a team plan, which gives you unlimited team members, gives you the ability to build it out. So this is where Notion is really going to take the lead over Airtable. Because if you look at Airtable's pricing, Airtable offers the free plan as well. And again, I am using a free plan on both of these at the moment. At some point in time, I will probably need to upgrade, but the free plan is going to give you the same five users. You are gonna get one free app per base, which basically means for each base you build, you're allowed to have one app integrated, but you're also allowed to have unlimited amount of bases. So this is gonna work for most people unless you are using Teams. Okay, you're also going to get uh, 1,200 records per base and you get two gigabytes of attachments per base. So the storage is going to be a lot more on Airtable versus what you can get on Notion as far as attachments are concerned. But then if you have to increase, the rate does go up significantly. It's gonna be $10 for the plus and $20 for the pro. So if you have to upgrade, the prices are going to be significantly different between Airtable and Notion. For most of us that are using it on a on, for a personal level, for your personal organization, um, with minimum team use, your personal plan, your free plans are gonna be fine. If you're using it for teams and project management, you will probably have to upgrade on both of those, but Notion's going to give you a lot more for your money with the upgrades. So that gives you the basic comparison between the two. 
Let's go in depth now and take a look at how both of these function and how I use those and I'll give you some quick uh, tips on how I look at it. So the way that I use Notion is for note taking, organizing my ideas, my thoughts, brainstorming, putting everything into a cohesive manner with checklists and to do's to make sure that everything is done. And so a perfect example of that is on my YouTube video projects. This is something that takes a lot of effort to put into and every project is different. So the way that I have this formulated, I have this tab here and you can see I have it listed out by ideas. I can put it into a board and so my board is going to be by the stage. So I have it as an idea and if I am done with it, I can move it from idea to scripting or from scripting to film and so I can move this along the plethora of things. I also use it to import all of my notes from other sources. So all of the books I read, I use Readwise and that captures all of my highlights and puts it into uh, my Notion da dashboard and so I can go back and get all of my highlights directly from there. I also have here my brain dump and my brain dump is where I take all of the articles that I might be looking at online. I may see something that I'm interested in and I will dump everything into here so it's organized for me. I can go back and take a look and click on the link and read that full article when I have time to digest it and be able to take notes on it because you never know. Sometimes you're just walking through and you're looking at your phone and you don't have time to really focus on an article but it's something that strikes your interest. So I use Notion basically for that. I use it for all of my organizing, my note taking, and getting all my thoughts. Now the way that I use Airtable and the way um, it helps me identify how to use it is databases and databases that I want to share with the public. Because one of the great features on Airtable is the ability to embed your data into your website. And I showed you that on my Airtable tutorial if you haven't checked that out. I'll make sure there's a link in the description. There's a card up there for you to go take a look at my Airtable tutorial that'll show you how you embed what you put in here into your website. So, for instance, a lot of the things I have on my website involves updates on my learning and the books that I'm reading. So if I go to my reading list, I'm able to capture all the books that I read here and I'm able to directly embed this onto my website so I don't have to go take separate notes or start a whole new database, I can simply do it from here and I get to pick and choose the type of content and fields that show which each of those. And then if I want to switch to board, obviously I could take a look at it by status and um, take a look at the books that I actually read and the updates on it. These are those that I've actually done some notes on already that you can find on my website. I also do the same thing with my learning and I also do the same thing with my videos. So here is my learning, all of the courses that I took, and then my videos that I'm about to start uploading now, all of my video projects, and I would, you'll see a gallery template on the website. So it'll give you easy access to all the videos that I published. You'll be able to click on the link directly to take you to that video. So that's a quick overview of both of those apps. You can see that they are both very different in the look and the feel. And so the question I know you have is, well, which one do I use, right? Well, unfortunately, what I have to say to you on that is, it's really up to you. I can't tell you which one is gonna work best for you, but what I can say is what I do is I use both of them. And let me tell you why. Notion is best for me in a place for me to organize my thoughts, to brainstorm, to get all of my ideas captured into one place where I can go and if I want to work on my books or my learning or my videos or read articles or headlines from things in the past, I can go to Notion, I can organize my tasks and my thoughts, get it all down so it is cohesive and presentable. Airtable I use for databases. And a database would be if I want to track items, or if I want to track inventory, if I want to track finances, if I want to keep track of all the items in my house, it is a database I can use that's simple that I would typically put into like an Excel spreadsheet that will give me the ability to sort and group. I also use Airtable for public facing databases that I want to share with people on my website because it gives me the ability to embed those directly into my website. So unfortunately, there isn't one app that will do it all for me. I'm hoping with some of the API integrations that are now available through Notion, that may give me the ability to free that up. 
but ultimately they are different apps and they have different use cases. So depending on what your needs are, you may be able to get away with one or the other. For me, I find it best that I use both. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something. If you wanna learn more about Notion, if you wanna learn more about Airtable, make sure you like this video, give me a thumbs up because the thumbs up goes a long way towards the YouTube algorithm to make sure my material gets out there. Comment down below and let me know what else you would like to see me discuss or some other topics that I could cover for you. And if this is the type of thing that interests you, if you're interested in my journey, you wanna get more up close and personal, then make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. My newsletter is a way for me to deliver weekly insights to you, straight to your inbox, on all of my fears, my failures, my success, my joys, all of my projects and creative endeavors. Also, if you like to discuss all the tools, books, and resources that will help you skill up and improve your life and business in this digital economy, Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so as I release these updates, you'll be notified. You'll be one of the first to know. As always, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. I'm your boy, Paul, and I will see you the next time. Take care, guys.